Hey, how's it going? It's June 13th, 2022. This is your Daily Sweet Talk. Recently, I did one of these talking about dislikes, so specifically on YouTube. But of course, YouTube is not the only site that has negative ratings. So, for example, Reddit. Um, well, yeah, okay, I'll focus on Reddit for now. Um, when you post something to Reddit, it it automatically is upvoted by one uh, by yourself, which you can take away, and then it's at zero. But zero is basically like a negative rating because you always start with the one. It's weird that way, but it makes sense, I guess, um, because a lot of people on other sites might do that automatically anyway, just like post something and then give it a like to boost it so other people will see it um which is always kind of uh well whatever (laughs) uh make of that what you will um and then if people don't like it or disagree with their saying or just don't just don't like what they're saying they downvote it and it can go in the negatives. Whereas on YouTube, if you dislike, say, a comment, which is usually what people are rating on Reddit, people people are more... I feel like people give more ratings to the comments than they do to the actual posts because there's a lot more comments than posts, obviously, because for every post, there's a lot of comments. I'm stating the obvious here, but just... When I'm thinking of votes on Reddit, I'm thinking of the comments more than I am the posts just because there's that's there's more of those if you just like a comment on YouTube it doesn't really do anything it's literally it's just for show like it I don't think it helps with it doesn't it doesn't make it more less visible to the algorithm it doesn't remove likes it just is like I didn't it's just it's just to vent I guess it doesn't do anything um It doesn't. Sh- it doesn't show the creator of the comment, the, the poster of the comment, or anything. Um, but on Reddit, if you, it, it will have a negative rating, like literally negative. So, um, not only will it be less visible, um, it may even be hidden if it has enough downloads, and. Um, It's kind of like uh, on Twitter, I guess, uh, being ratioed, as they say. Because you can't dislike uh, anything on Twitter, except for replies now. They're they're experimenting with a feature where you can downvote replies. And I guess it it doesn't show a rating like it does on Reddit, but it um, does have, I think, maybe potentially that same sort of effect where replies will be less shown. If they're downvoted, I guess. I don't know how that will work with the likes, because if you like a reply, it's more likely to be seen. So I don't know what the balance for that is. I guess they're still figuring that out, but um, that's how that works on Twitter. You can't do it with posts, though. Only replies so far. I don't know. This is what they're experimenting with. And on Facebook, they're... Is no ratings. There's only reactions. You can react to a post. It's kind of like if you're messaging on a Discord server, you can add emoji reactions to a message. And you could react with a downvote a arrow if, if that's, if that's or, or a thumbs down if those uh, emotes are available. Well, the, the thumbs down would be because just an emoji. But on Facebook, they only have the select for you, I'm pretty sure. So you have um, base emojis, you know, um, laughing, thumbs up, angry, sad. Angry and sad are the are the negative reactions. And so that's basically like, wait, what was I saying about being ratioed? <laughs> ratioed is not a, 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 a voting thing. It's literally just, well, it kind of is. Someone rep- will... Um, reply or quote tweet you and just get way more likes than the original post and that's why am I explaining this whatever I'm out of time <laughs>